privately owned public space POPs, or alternatively, privately owned public open spaces POPOS, are terms used to describe a type of public space that, although privately owned, is legally required to be open to the public under a city's zoning ordinance or other land use law. The acronym POPOS is preferentially used over POPs on the west coast of the U.S. Both terms can be used to represent either a singular or plural space or spaces. These spaces are usually the product of a deal between cities and private real estate developers in which cities grant valuable zoning concessions and developers provide in return privately owned public spaces in or near their buildings. Privately owned public spaces commonly include plazas, arcades, small parks, and atriums. Many cities worldwide, including Auckland, New York City, San Francisco, Seattle, Seoul, and Toronto, have privately owned public spaces. Some cities and advocacy groups have created websites about these spaces see, for example, apops.mas.org. Although the term, privately owned public space, was popularized by Harvard professor Gerald S. Caden through his 2000 book Privately Owned Public Space, The New York City Experience, written in collaboration with the New York City Department of City Planning and the Municipal Art Society of New York. The history of privately owned public space commenced in 1961 when New York City introduced an incentive zoning mechanism offering developers the right to build 10 square feet of bonus rentable or sellable floor area in return for one square foot of plaza, and three square feet of bonus floor area in return for one square foot of arcade. Between 1961 and 2000, 503 privately owned public spaces, scattered almost entirely in downtown, midtown, and upper east and west sides of New York City's borough of Manhattan, were constructed at 320 buildings. More spaces have been added since then. The book cited the quantitative success of the program's public space production but reported that 41% of these spaces were of «marginal» quality and roughly 50% of buildings had one or more spaces apparently out of compliance with applicable legal requirements resulting in privatization. While «privately owned public space» As a term of art refers specifically to private property required to be usable by the public under zoning or similar regulatory arrangements, the phrase in its broadest sense can refer to places, like shopping malls and hotel lobbies, that are privately owned and open to the public, even if they are not legally required to be open to the public. See also Fourth and Madison Building List of privately owned public spaces in London List of privately owned public spaces in New York City List of privately owned public open spaces in San Francisco Private protected area